then let's first take a look at a typical bracket. Commonly used in the market today is just a standard L bracket. But let's learn the proper terms for these as we get started. So as I stated, this is a, an L bracket and the top portion and the down portion both are called flanges. So you have a top flange and you have a down flange. And you can see that the um, top flange of this one is solid and there's no holes so that your surface is applied with an adhesive where the down flange does have holes and it is tied into your structure. This particular L bracket does not have what we call a gusset or a stiffener bar that runs between the top flange and the down flange. That gives it a different carrying capacity. So that you need to keep that in mind as well as you're choosing your bracket and we'll get into that in a few minutes on when you should choose that. This is the gusset that we were just discussing. So you can see there's a portion that runs between the two flanges and that gives this L bracket a heavier carrying capacity than the previous L bracket. Now these decorative brackets are going to install after the fascia is on the front of your countertop. Now because this particular L bracket um, has a gusset, it has a little bit different spacing. It has a heavier carrying capacity. So brackets with the gusset can be spaced up to 30 inches apart. So this placement is going to be a little bit different. So if you're using your decorative brackets, you'll want to start the same way. Determine what your layout is going to be. If you do not have wood there, you're going to need to install it. Remember, your fasteners must have at least one and three quarter inches of wood to bite into when they're installed. Your support is only going to be as good and strong as your substructure. So you want to make sure that you have the appropriate substructure in place to hold the weight of this granite. So you've got your placement laid out. Um, and once again, as I mentioned earlier, this bracket has a hole on either side of the gusset, so it's going to require a little bit more wood, so you're going to install that extra 2x4. You may need to do it from inside the cabinet if your fascia is already up, or if you are able to remove it um, to install the blocking where you're going to place your black brackets, then that works as well. Then you'll put your fascia back up because these are installed on the finished front of your countertop base. Again, um, you'll want to install, check for level in this plane, and as you put up each successive bracket, you'll want to check for level in this plane. At this point, you're going to do the same thing by adding a bead of silicone on the top flange, setting your countertop, and enjoy your new kitchen. Mm -hmm.